Hi, I'm Brett. Today we are going to change the water pump on a Mercruiser 5.7 liter engine. The water pump sits right on the front of the engine. It's driven by this serpentine belt. I'm going to replace the one on the port engine today. We've already replaced the one on the starboard a while back. What indications do you get that it's time to replace the water pump? Well, see the rust on the pulley that rests on the harmonic balancer? A little rust on the water pump itself. Rust here. It's coming from water, leaking out past the front seal of the water pump and getting slung around by the circular motion of the pulleys and belts and belt. On the starboard engine, I let it go too long, and what started as a small leak turned into a streaming water that filled up the bilge pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, it wasn't good. So this time we're going to get ahead of it. All right, when you're taking this off, the first thing you want to do is loosen these four bolts that hold this pulley to the water pump. The water pump's going to be held stationary by the tension of this belt, by the compression of the engine. If you take the belt off first, this thing's going to turn freely, and you won't be able to counter the force necessary to loosen these bolts. So loosen these first, then take the belt off. All right, these bolts are half inch right here. All we gotta do is loosen them right now. Let me take them all the way off. Just loosen them. All right. This idler pulley right here is what adjusts tension on the belt. So. It's a 5 8 inch locking nut along with a 5 16 inch bolt that you turn to loosen or slacken. So it'll loosen itself just moving in the direction of loosening the, um, but I'm going to oppose it so I can get it loose on the shaft too. Alright, so loose on the shaft, let that come down. Pay close attention to how this belt routes around the crankshaft, back around the water pump, around the alternator, around the idler pulley. Pull it off, inspect it. See any cuts or other abnormalities? Now's a good time to replace it. Next. This bracket that holds the idler pulley, two bolts, 9 sixteenths, two bolts, one there, one down at the bottom of the bracket. Hold this bracket in place. We got to get the bracket out because there's a bolt sitting behind the bracket that holds the water pump on. We can't get to it with this bracket on the way. So let's get that out of there. I've already loosened the one on the bottom. Right, set the bracket aside and the bolts to it. Let's take this water pump pulley off now. There's a smaller hose at the top, large hose at the bottom. Four bolts. One, two, three, four. And it comes off. Let's all right, let's get these hoses off of here. Let's start with the one on top. And these are, I mean, they're hose clamps, so they could be anything, but mine are 5 sixteenths. And I'm just using a 5 sixteenths nut driver to get them off of here. Although I would always suggest the orient clamps so you can get to them. This one was oriented up, so it was obviously put on before this hose was put on, so it made it harder to get to. Slide the clamp back off the nipple. And I'll do the same with this one. Now we don't necessarily have to take the hose off right now. And on this big one, we're not going to be able to. That's going to have to slide on, slide off as we take off the water pump. All right, these bolts, nine sixteenths. I don't know if it matters, but make a note. This one has a stud. This one has a stud, so stud 
down, up, diagonal from each other. So the diagonal from each other, and this one's at the top. So the inboard one is at the top. The water pump does not come with any fasteners. Yeah, I'll probably go in and clean those up on a wire brush in the shop. Yeah, we'll, clean, we'll take these threads in and clean them up. All right, there is nothing holding this water pump on except for the adhesion of its gaskets right now. So the water gets emptied from the engine. See how much we're going to have to fight with these hoses. The big one should be the easiest of the two to get off, actually. There, it's off. A little one might require a little prying. All right, I've cleaned up the threads on the wire brush. I have a bench mounted wire brush, makes it easier to do. And let's see if we can get this. What we're gonna do is twist it a couple times to get it break its seal or its bond with the nipple that it's on. There we go. Just real gently, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it because I don't want to damage the rubber. There it is, it's off. Alright, so there's the original water pump. Now this is a Sierra. Oh, look at that. We're gonna have to do a little change out here. This is a Sierra pump is an aftermarket. I bought it from Summit Racing. And there. Pump for pump. See everything matches up. Two gaskets. And you want to make sure the gasket surface is clean on the block before you try to make this back up. But you can see we had to pull a little hose off the top and on this particular pump that's been blocked off. So we're gonna to have to take the nipple out of this one put it in this one so we can use it. So we'll do that before we put the pump on. But first let's get the gasket surfaces looking, looking decent. For that I've got a little scraper tool that I keep sharpened up. I just want to make sure there's no paper. Sometimes you get a little bit of paper left. And if you leave, leave a little bit of paper on there, not going to seal properly. You run the risk of it not. So look at this one over here. We've got some paper still left on this, and most of it came off with the pump itself. Still some paper on here. So I'll just scrape it off. That's more right there. They don't have to be, the surfaces don't have to be perfect. All right, to the shop, and two things I'm gonna do in the shop is I'm gonna pull this pulley off of the old pump and I'm gonna pull that nipple off and swap it out with the new pump and we'll be back. All right, I'm back from the shop. And I switched the nipple and also pulled off the pulley. And hopefully this can's been used, but hopefully I still has some paint in it, but I'd like to come out and see if I can't touch up some of this Let's get a coat of paint on some of this rust. And I'm using Mercury's own Phantom Black spray enamel. And yeah, I probably I want to be very meticulous with wire brush this and clean it up, but I just want to get a coat of paint on it. The first thing we can do with this, here's the pump. There's the new nipple right there. First thing we can do with this is um, start the screws. This is multiple, drilled for multiple different pulleys. So just get the, the one that lines up for you. There wasn't any Loctite on these, so I'm not putting any on. Yeah, they corroded a little bit anyway, which acts as Loctite. Now if you recall, 
these two are the same. One of them goes there, go diagonal to each other, and the one inboard goes above at the, on the top. Here are the two gaskets that came with the pump. Just paper gaskets, they're identical. Let's get the hoses threaded. It might be a good way to hold the pump in place while we do the gaskets. A little, a little bit of stability. The gasket, line it to the hole. started. Let's get the top board on this side. Same thing. Oh, it's a little challenging on this side. This long bolt goes on the inboard side on the bottom. Right in here. Let's just take the head of the socket and use that to help turn it. You just want to make sure you get enough thread started that you're not cross-threading it. Before you start putting applying torque to it. Okay, that seems like it's got a good start. And last but not least, this side. All right, now we can start using the ratchet. And we'll tighten this thing down. First we'll snug it. And we'll tighten it in a cross pattern. Okay, that's snug. That's snug. That's snug. That's snug. Alright, now we're going to go in a cross pattern three times. Again, you probably want to look up the torque specs and do it proper torque. I just know from years of doing this what the right tightness is. But I do recommend going through your torque sequence at least three times to make sure that everything's at torque. Second time, third time. Done. As far as pumps con are concerned, let's get this pulley tightened up. And I might have to put the belt back on to finish that job. Alright, they're snug. We'll tighten them when we get the belt back on. Alright, let's tighten up the hoses. Make sure both the hose clamps are tight. Let's orient this one to where I can get to it now. Now, when you order this pump, if you're going to order it from Summit, it's going to be hard to find on Summit's website because they're mainly automotive. So what I did was I looked up water pump for a Mer Cruiser 5.7 on Google, and that brought up a Summit reference. And then I just clicked on that link, and that took me right to the part on Summit's site. You can buy it other places too, but that was $100 on Summit's site. Usually their stuff is cheaper on their site. And this is where I buy a lot of my automotive stuff at Summit. Now we need to put this bracket back on. The tensioner bracket, idle pulley. Two bolts, one down low, right down here. One up here, high. Down here. 
both 9 16 extension back on snug them first then torque them belt back on this belt comes off the harmonic balancer pulley it wraps around the water pump like this it goes a good ways around the circumference of the water pump get it back on that harmonic balancer pulley fill off of it all right straight off the idler down the harmonic balancer pulley around wraps around the back side so it's the back side of the belt that's driving the water pump around the alternator. From there, straight up to the idler pulley. On the other side of the harmonic balancer pulley comes off. Wraps around backwards. Around the pulley that drives the water pump. And then comes out here and picks up the alternator. And we just adjust the tension using this idler pulley here. Two wrenches for that. Five eighths, five sixteenths. It's on there ready to tighten. 516 is ready to do the same thing. Let's walk this up its little ladder until we get it. And then tighten. Alright, there you have it. Water pump has been changed out. And of course, the very last step is. If it's not in the water, put it in the water. If it is in the water, start the engine. And let check for leaks. Make sure there are no leaks. All right, let's start the port engine. Now in this, in this case, we are feeding uh, fresh water to it. We've got water circulating the engine, so that water pump is in play right now. One last check for leaks. We reached 170, so we are out and holding. We're good.